Hello. I am going to do a very simple weekly layout today. I am back in my half letter planner. These pages are from cloth and paper. I love how simple and clean they are. And I also love that they're is a full weekend. So let me just make sure I'm on the screen, okay. And we are going to use some of my favorite kind of minimal, very functional stickers. These are from Creative Sticker Co. And as always, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place these half circles where the boys have something. So they either have a game or a practice every time you see a half circle. And then the way that I differentiate a practice from a game is with a highlighter. Just going through. And then on Thursday, I'm going to use one of these label stickers because it is something important that is not a game or a practice and it must get done. But there's also a practice for the other boy. But I wanna make sure that we don't forget to have Tyson log on for his high school math test. Easier just to use here. much faster just to use my fingers. All right. So to me, when I see an icon shape of a sticker such as these, I know that it's a game or a practice. And then what I go through and do is when there is a game, I put just a highlighter. Just to kind of draw your attention to it a little bit more. Okay, so there's that. And then just because these half circles, I think they kind of look fun. I like to draw the initial of the boy. And then I go through and I will write in cursive just kind of the name of the boy. Last step is I just go through and with this thicker chisel side, I draw in little boxes for check boxes, kind of a to-do list. And that's it. And 
pretty much, you guys, this is really um, what I've been doing most weeks. I've been keeping it very, very simple. I fill in my to-do list and everything that the boys have going on. I will do that. Um, I will start on camera, but I will show you guys the finished pages once I am done writing. Okay, so every Sunday, more or less, this is kind of what my planner pages look like. I have filled in everything I know for sure. I have not, I don't have Tyson's game time for Saturday. I need to double check Jacob's game time Saturday. He has a double header every Sunday, but I don't remember the times off the top of my head. So I will look those up and fill those in. I do know Tyson's game time for Tuesday night, Jacob's game time for Wednesday night. So all of the bigger things are filled in. And then I kind of look at the checklist as a hopeful to-do list for me. So these are things that I hope to get done, but if they don't get done, I can move them to a day later in the week. I will go through and fill in Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Wednesday night we have a game, so I probably won't sit down Wednesday night, but I will sit down Thursday morning and kind of reassess my week and move things around accordingly. I have been trying to get a lot of errands done on Monday because Saturday and Sundays are eaten up with baseball games, which we love, but it often means that nothing gets done on the weekend. So Mondays have become the days where I can get my grocery shopping done. I've got to get the laundry done, especially with games on Tuesdays. So I got to soak those baseball pants. Remember to get all those uniforms washed, get the boys to school uniforms done. Monday has become my, my work day. So I try to get as much done as possible on Monday. And that kind of tuckers out through the week. But good look at what my pages look like by the time I'm done on a Sunday night. And then I will just kind of fill these in as I go. I hope that this is helpful. And I also hope that you guys can see a super minimal pages with a few stickers for a pop of color can be functional and beautiful. These are my favorite kind of pages. And this is the kind of um, planning that I've been doing lately and I hope you all have a wonderful week and let me know if you have any questions. All right, see you guys later.